Hello movie fans, welcome back. We're the movie family. It's been a while since we reviewed anything because there's not much to review. Uh, but we're back to review the new Disney live action remake of Mulan. Um, so we're going to give you our thoughts about it, uh, some parental guidance and, and like we usually do. Um, and then give you our overall opinions of whether or not this movie is worth buying and, and seeing in the long run. So we'll start with... Uh, the parents, uh, our parents' guide, our guidance for if your kids can see it. I think everybody would agree this is a pretty, it's a PG movie. It's pretty simple. I don't even think the violence is that yeah, big no. deal. Yeah. There's, there is violence, but it's, there's not. Yeah, gore. like you've seen I mean, the original, there's no blood. Yeah, there's an avalanche, and it's, it's implied people die, but it's not like, ah, my guts are shooting. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you see like. There are a lot of people like getting death, stabbed, but it's like it cuts yeah. away right as they're yeah. getting stabbed, so it doesn't show. Them. Right. Yeah. There's like death, but it's not, and violence of like fighting Glorified and stuff like that. But there's death. not like. Well, there's no blood, I don't think, and there's really, you don't, yeah, you cut away from people dying pretty quick. So, I would say, and there's no, um, like, no swearing, I don't think I could hear any swearing, and really nothing that was inappropriate for, you know, children of any age, I don't think. Um, if you've seen the original animated Mulan, it's pretty much the same level of violence as the animated Mulan, just it's real life. Yeah, real people. Um, so... What did, uh, if we go down the line, what, what did everybody like most about it? So, Ryan, what did you like most about the movie? I thought that the casting was good, and maybe the cinematography. Yeah, Rachel? Uh, I liked the fighting scenes in it. They were pretty cool. Okay. Sure. Um, like all the Disney live action remakes, I thought it was beautifully made. It it looked good. Okay. Tommy. Yeah, I, <laughs> it was colorful. I I liked it, you know, and I liked it was like the sets looked good. I think the sets for the movie looked really good. Yeah. I thought the pr- it was pretty. I thought it was, yeah, it, was I mean, it sounds like, again, we all kind of good. Like, it was pretty. I thought the fighting was pretty cool, too. I, I think it was a good looking movie. Yeah. Um, like some of the stuff. Yeah. yeah. It was a good looking movie, I think, is the best thing that I can say about it. Um, what didn't you like about this movie? Right. You know, go with the highlights if there's more than one. Um, it, it, it's, I, I felt like, there was something they did with the the phoenix as kind of like a symbol. I, I guess it was like because they had like an early tour. They talked about the phoenix or whatever, and then like at one point it showed up and kind of like flew around, and then it did that like three more times in the movie, and it was like you do you phoenix. It didn't do anything. It was basically just like Mulan saw it like three times. It was like oh that's cool. It was a guide. Right. Eh, yeah. Did it like guide her a lot? It guided her like a little bit when she got lost like one time. Yeah, but I'll just quickly say. So my thing that I didn't like about it was it was missing Mushu. Ah, uh, that's the, yeah. The Phoenix was supposed to be like its substitute, and it was a poor substitute, so it lost all humor and all kind of interesting parts of lack of that, Eddie Murphy that Mushu character. Rachel, what didn't you like about it? I didn't like the lack of songs, but that you would expect oh. from the trailer, like, more of an orchestral theme to the songs, and really it's just, they're talking about girls, I guess this is that scene. They they don't have the themes in it as much as you would expect them to. Right, yeah, there wasn't even, like, even, yeah, it seemed like it part... Those are some good songs, <laughs> put them in there. <laughs> right, at least as an orchestral, if you're not going to sing them, there at least like have them in the background. There were, like, four songs in the whole movie, and they and don't they, put one of them in. Yeah, and they didn't even, like, barely, like, a couple times you could hear it in the background. It was a small key. Yeah. You could yeah. kind of hear reflection, but you didn't but, hear, like, oh, yes, yeah, that's reflection. It wasn't even, like, they cued, like, a lot of this. There was, like, a couple musical cues, like, here and there, but it was few and far between yeah. when they actually did What it. did you... Um, I, I don't know if it's fair to compare it to the original animated, but that I think it's fair. natural to compare it to the oh, original oh, animated. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that at the end. <laughs> and I just like the original animated one more. Yeah. yeah. Like, again, Mushu, the music, the comedy, um, the, even so, the the romance. You know, say what you want about her being a strong female character and not needing a man. Cool, but it was part of the they original. They do that well in the the animated one too. In 
It wasn't in the new Yeah, one. it wasn't even like she needed a strong male figure in the original animated one. It was yeah. just kind of like, but it they, was kind of a, a plot that grew. They eliminated it almost completely yeah. in this one. Mm-hmm. Tommy? No. Oh. I think it's totally fair to compare it to the original. <laughs> I mean, I think, you know, if you're going to remake a movie in live action, improve upon it. They didn't do that in any sense. You know, they took everything that was good and made the original movie great, and then they just made it mediocre. You know, just everything that they did, especially the story, it's just so emotionally void. Did anybody feel like, yeah. you know, like when you finish the movie, you it's so forgettable? Because, yeah, I mean, There's I saw something... Special. Yeah, I, I can't even remember now, because I saw something about it, it was like a pitch meeting order, but like... The whole thing which she had, like, she they were working on, it was basically like she was a, a Jedi, basically, but they were like, you can't use your magic. It wasn't like she learned to fight. Exactly. It's like, you have magic powers it's that make a, you cool and you kick stuff, yeah, but it, you shouldn't do that. And it's the equivalent of midichlorians and adding those in and yeah. saying, yeah. you're the chosen one, you don't get to become special, you are special. Yeah, they turned her birds from, like, they were a superhero. There exactly. was nothing about magic, though, right? It was just, you have the fighting spirit. Exactly. They were, the yeah, they were trying to make spider, but then they put magic throughout, like, it's other weird. parts yeah, of the movie. Yeah, it was a witch. <laughs> witch stuff. In the, in like, not with Mulan. Yeah, not with Mulan. There was a lot of places where it was like, no, we don't want to do magic, but then other parts were like, we're going to do a lot of magic. And like, why not do magic? Pitch magic yeah, just in case anybody thinks we're saying that Mulan is magic and had magical powers. No, no, no. She did not. It's nah, like but being they were born to be a great warrior. Yeah, they were, yeah, they yeah. were making chosen more vibes. chosen one kind of thing. And it's just, so, it's just they, everything that was great about the first one is just so mediocre. building on that and to be maybe a little bit more fair, um, give what you would rate the original Mulan movie, the animated version from 90, I think, 7 or 8. Um, <clears throat> would you? What would you give that original Mulan kind of, and then what would you give this movie? Like a, a B plus or an A minus, and then I'd give this one when you compare it. Just as well, a film, what was the original one? What? What would you give the original B, Mulan? B, B, B plus, plus or an A minus. Okay, and then what would like you give this one? And then this one, because you can't not compare this to the original. You yeah. need to compare it to the original. And so when you compare it to that, it gets like a D plus or something, like a C minus, a D plus, just because everything's so lacking. Mm. Like okay. it, it's just okay. Yeah. Tara, what do you get? Um, I'd give the original like a four and a half. Maybe even a 4.75. This one I'd give maybe a 3.5. Yeah, I'm probably about the same. <laughs> almost exactly the same. Like, that's the original. I really enjoyed all the music and all that stuff. And I think it did a great job. And this one was just kind of like a very, um, it, yeah, it was lacking a lot of it. It had, like, the plot points, but it was missing any kind of depth or anything else. Which you think you'd get more when you have real people and you could do more acting. And the actors weren't bad. It just, there was nothing for them to really do. Oh, what? Just... And, and... Rachel, what would you give? Um, I never loved the original movie. It just isn't like that that great to me as everyone seems to think it is now. But I give it like a three point nine, and this one. Yeah, this one. Yeah, I give three point origi- nine. Uh, okay, actually, so about about the same for both of them. In yeah, your I mean, if it had had music, it probably would have been better. But I. Hmm, okay. Fair. And it's all right. okay to me. I'm right. going to give this one... I'm going to give the animated one, like, an 8.5. And then this one's, like, out of a 5. Out of 10. We're just, like... We're do- Tommy's got, like, grading scales, <laughs> exactly. and you're all, all on right. points. All right, so out of 10 points, you're saying 8.5, the original, and then this one's what? It's a 5. Maybe a 5.5 at best. Oh, okay. And, but well, there's one cool thing. Like, there was a quick cameo scene where they had the original... Uh, voice actor for Mulan. It was Ming Na Wen. Ming Na Wen. Yeah, she like popped up for like half a second and then like just said one line and then I was like, oh okay, I guess that's kind of cool. Did they have the person who did her singing voice in the movie though? Ooh, I don't know. Is that Leah Salon? I don't know. I don't know. Better place for her in this movie. Maybe yeah. Oh, well. yeah. I mean, she could have been just an act character. She probably was one of the characters. You're right. Like, but I don't know. Yeah. Just to just to give her like you know an opportunity to be in this movie. Um. Okay, well, that, I mean, again, it sounds like you get a basic sense. Disney Plus has Mulan uh, available for their premium subscription right now, or basically you pay $30, and then you get access to Mulan early, but it's going to be free, I think, in December, is when they said, if you've got a subscription to Disney Plus. Um, so the question Think comes... carefully about paying. So the question comes, which is what I'm going to ask, is would you say, does anybody have an opinion on whether or not you would you should pay to go pay to go pay to rent this and essentially you buy it and and you can have access to it for the rest of your subscription to disney plus for 30 bucks is it worth it doing early or just wait and see it you have the animated movie so watch that till it's 
December. You know, you'll okay. be fine. That's I would say, like, if you've shown your kids the original one, and they're like, if you have kids, like, they really love it, like, yeah, Mulan, like, might as well go ahead and show if them this like one. Mulan. But, like, if you have, like, a fan base of people you know that are like, man, Mulan is one of the best Disney movies, but, it, uh, like, buy it. But otherwise, if they're just like, you say, hey, you want to watch Mulan? Like, oh, yeah, Mulan, that was a good movie. Yeah, maybe just wait until December. It's like, if they really like Mulan, go ahead. But if they're just like, oh, yeah. They remember Mulan. It's not worth it. Anybody else? Different opinion. I agree with. Yeah, I think you probably wait. I mean, you're already paying monthly for Disney Plus That's anyway, so extra on top of it. I think I'd just wait. <laughs> yeah, I mean, don't don't buy this until it comes out. You know, like if you want to see a good Mulan movie, watch the original Mulan because it's way better than this. And this if you okay. want to see this one, then just watch it in December when it's free. I would say this movie is worth watching, but I'm not sure if it's worth paying for. No, it's for. not worth it's not $30. Worth it's yeah. not even close to worth $30. Yeah. Not worth like five it. bucks, maybe. Not worth paying for. No. All right, so that's our review of Disney's Mulan. If you uh, like it or want to leave comments down below, please do. Um, as more movies come out, we will do more um, uh, more videos and uh, our reviews. Um, and now it's time for Ryan's bad joke of the day. Came out of nowhere. Okay, so a little bit of set up here. There's a family, and the kid says, Dad, put the cat out. And Dad says, I didn't know the cat was on fire. Man. Are you going to jib? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. Really. All right, thanks. Bye.